wait this is a really nice one they still look like two very different colored pieces of wood oh my goodness <laughs> Hi everyone, it is currently Friday night. I'm about to go sand a piece of wood for my plant shelf. I meant to make two plant shelves, but for one of them, I ended up making that full one for my past apartment. So I'm gonna do that right now, 8 p.m. on a Friday night. <laughs> no! Oh, there's a giant spider. Oh. Are we good? <laughs> find the right stain color. I had to open like nine different cans for it. That oh, was yeah, so said, nice. Yeah. Like you test them out. Oh my gosh. I like it a lot. Look how oh, different it looks. That looks actually gray. Yeah. Well, maybe because it's dirty too. Oh. <laughs> <the garage. laughs> Hello. So now I have these two pieces of wood. This was the original one that I did when we lived in our apartment because it was my plant shelf. I had two pieces of wood to begin with. It was purchased from Home Depot as one large piece and it was just cut in half. So each of these are 36 inches, so three feet. And I believe the type of wood is Douglas fir. If anyone out there actually does real woodwork, I just wing things. I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm not claiming to. This is the one I had originally stained and I hand sanded it myself using like these right here. Um, I'm just prepping for the new home. I'm not putting this up right now because I mean I'm only going to live in this apartment for a couple more months. I am going to spray this down with this. It's a clear semi gloss polyurethane oil based spray to make it water resistant. So now I'm done with this and I actually changed already, but they still look like two very different colored pieces of wood. I don't know if I'm going to keep them together like staggered or one on top of another or even in different rooms. We'll see what I come up with when I actually move into the new place. So then once we move in, it'll be easy. I can just throw them up on the wall and put some plants on it. See, I don't have to worry about it because I know once we move in, there's going to be a lot. So with these two pieces of wood. I like how this one looks in real life better. They are sprayed down with the sealant spray and now I just leave it out here for a few hours. And then I will show the brackets later. The brackets are really cute from World Market and I love them. Look how much the string of hearts has grown. Oh my goodness. This is all new growth. The light green and it's starting to trail already. So cute. I showed this on my Instagram, but I don't think I showed it on YouTube yet. Look at this leaf from my Monstera Thai Constellation. It has so much variegation. I really wasn't expecting it. And of course, it's in semi-hydro here. This Raphidophora, it came with that one little leaf. And then I grew two new ones, but then they're not fenestrated. But I mean, it's healthy. So I'm just waiting for a fenestrated leaf with this one. And this is a little piece that came off of my variegated string of hearts. And I decided to stick it in semi-hydro to see how it would do. It's actually in a detergent cup. And oh, oh, that's growing. If you see that one green little dude right there. And then in here is just some water. I have to keep checking on this frequently because it is in such a small little container and it can dry up pretty quick, especially with the amount of sunlight that this window gets. My philodendron silver sword and it's growing so tall. It's all the way up here now. I might chop this and stick it into the empty spaces. Um, it's pretty full otherwise. Yeah, I think that's all the update for now. 
I have been waiting for this plant for five months. I have been on this waiting list since June. I actually pre-ordered it already so I paid for it in June and it's now end of November and I just got this today in the mail. I've been at work all day. I actually had a one hour meeting after work too so I'm home even later today and now I'm filming this because I don't want to leave it overnight but this is one of the plants that I didn't like at first. I didn't think I would ever get it. It's a rare plant but and it's always been trending on Instagram I feel like but I didn't want it at first because even though each ind individual leaf I thought was pretty, I thought the plant grew really ugly, which I kind of still think. But the plant is one of those that grew on me. So in that video that I said plants I used to hate but now love, I'll link it at the top. I included this one in here and I'm pretty sure by saying that you'll know what I'm talking about. Did I mention that this is from Gabriella's Plants? So I first ordered from Gabriella's Plants with my Silver Sword Philodendron and it's grown huge since I first had it in a four inch pot and then I switched it over to semi hydroponics and it's growing like a monster. It's getting so tall and I love it. That's the first plant I got from Gabriella's Plants and then I got another one. They're Philodendron Rio so I've had always good experiences. So in here it says smile your plant has arrived home and then it's always packaged in the same way and it's very secure so then there's directions to how to unbox it selected and treated by Bruce and then packed and shipped by Gabby so thank you both <laughs> drawing tips oh cool they packed a button in here and again I'm doing an unboxing on my white bedding which is a terrible idea but I don't have any other room to do it oh my gosh this is gonna be so bad there's a little button here, how cute. This reminds me of grade school. Um, it just says Pink Princess Philodendron, GabriellaPlants.com, and there's a little picture there. Right here is the plant. There's a rubber band that I am gonna take off here. And then, oh my gosh, I don't want the soil to get everywhere. I need a better setup for <laughs> my unboxings. I used to be able to do this in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm just gonna push it through like this. weird thought but it's like it's giving birth <laughs> it's gonna come through the top right there okay let's see what it looks like together <gasps> Ooh, I can't really tell I can see in the viewfinder but cute wait this is a really nice one. Oh my gosh hang on hang on one sec it's in a four inch pot and it has this cotton on top to try to hold the soil in, which it did a good job overall. Just, I would not recommend it to be unboxing on your white bedding or bedding at all. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. That color is so gorgeous. This is such a cute plant. It's so pretty. Look at that pink. Okay, so it has one, two, three, four leaves, and there is a decent amount of pink on all of them. This one has a lot of pink. This one's gorgeous. I'm in love with this. Okay. I need to be a little gentle, try not to rip off the leaves, but oh, that's so pretty. So this, this one looks like it's the newest one, I think, but it's such a little cutie. I am absolutely in love. How cute. I might leave this alone for a while and then transfer it to Summer Hydro. I have not done any conversions while I've been over here but because my setup here it's not as easy for me to convert I might just wait until we move into the new place but we'll see it's a smaller one so I just don't want to make a mess because this is not my place yeah this leaf is amazing right there that pink is so vibrant and it's decent sized leaves like if you compare it to my hand I guess was it worth five month wait? Yes, it was. I am not disappointed. Gabriel's Plants always ships out their plants in great conditions, at least in the three times I've ordered from them. It's always been a good experience and those plants are both thriving now, so I'm sure this will be thriving too. I'm so excited. Ah! I finally have my pink princess. This is going to be my last plant purchase until my move in to our new place. I say that now, but I, I don't think there's anything else on my list for now that I'm going to get before and... I'm running out of space over here. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. My